I'm Heather Roebrook here to talk to you about the Restore NJ495 project. So Route 495 between the New Jersey Turnpike and the Route 3 merge and JFK Boulevard will have one lane closed down in both directions. Usually there's four lanes, so it's going to be down to three lanes, and that's for two and a half years. Route 3 East, that ramp getting onto 495, usually has two lanes. Now it will be down to one lane. But the exclusive bus lane will be maintained as usual, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. This is 495 here. So the closure is going to be right in these spots, right over here. It's this bridge that needs to be replaced. So this is going to cause some delays on the eastern spur getting onto 495 and on Route 3 as you go eastbound getting onto 495 and of course going outbound at the Lincoln Tunnel coming up the helix and getting onto that bridge where the construction project is going to be. So some alternates for you. You can go up to the George Washington Bridge. Definitely stick with the western spur. Avoid that eastern spur because you're going to find that log jam coming up into 495. You you can always go to the Holland Tunnel, or if you're coming from the south, go to the Gothels Bridge, go across the Staten Island Expressway, over the Verrazano Bridge, up the Gowanus Expressway to the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, and that has an HOV plus three lane for you to utilize. Now your other options, mass transit, of course. Take those ferries, use PATH and New Jersey transit trains, park and rides, and Hudson Bergen light rail. I'm Heather Roebrook, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.